into the wall. Now, did he have some issue with Russell Ingle, I wonder? Well, it was the final round of the championship, so we're all in contention to win. I was coming through the field. I got down the inside of uh, Russell at turn eight, nine. We come out of the corner. We were basically driving alongside each other. And uh, as he come up alongside, I thought, I'm not going to make this easy for you. Like, if you're going to give me a bit of a hip and shoulder, I'll give you one back. And he uh, turned right, fired me into the fence on the left-hand side, and, uh, and basically put me out of uh, that year's championship. I tell you what, uh, looks to me like Russell's got a bit of a case to answer there. Look, to be honest, I didn't think it was going to end up how it did. I thought I'd just give him a bit of a nudge and say, hey, I didn't appreciate that, cop this. I passed him and I seen a spear across and hit the right wall. I thought, Phew, this is pretty ugly. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is not good. Then the safety car boards came out. I thought, this is really ugly. I tried to get the car going. I ended up on the other side of the road and I, uh, the car was, it was destroyed. I couldn't make it get back to the pit at all. I saw all the, all the carnage and there was Mark and I seen him marching out. England Sky, sparring partners verbally, physically. A defiant gesture from both drivers. Oh, well, I walked out to give him a character referencing and then, you know, and he's actually swerved at me. For whatever reason, you decide that that's all right. I didn't actually swerve at him. I moved across there, but that was just to, to, to flip him the, uh, the one finger salute. I mean, I desperately wanted to grab him by the throat and choke him. I mean, that was absolutely how I felt about it. I mean, I got fined for disobeying the official because I was supposed to be behind the fence. At that stage, Russell Ingle got the biggest fine in Australian motorsport history on that day for doing what he did. It's weird, isn't it? You know, I said at the time that I would never speak to him again, and I went for a long time where I definitely didn't speak to him. Um, obviously, uh, time moves on. Fox Sports uh, signed Russell up to have a different opinion to me, and as it turns out, we mostly agree on stuff, so it probably hasn't had the, the level of aggro and level of drama that people have seen. As the old saying goes, you know, time heals all wounds, but I reckon that wound is a little bit open still, you know. No way have I forgiven him. Absolutely not ever.